everyone, it's Danny, and I'm here today with a layout to share for the Coco Vanilla Studio design team. I'm still bashing through my legendary collection. This is the newest one that I have, so of course I am still uh, really enjoying using it. I wanted to make a very organic kind of nature themed layout today because the photo I'm using is of myself and my son. It was taken up at my parents-in-law's house, um, which is quite rural. They have a lot of bush on their property and the background of the photo has um, the bush as a backdrop so I am going ahead and I'm just as you can see just fussy cutting out some leaf shapes out of the outdoors type paper on the green side which is kind of like that um, that map topography design I use my pencil just to kind of trace a, a rough shape um, but you really don't have to do that I'm not being particularly careful about how I do this I'm not making it too neat or perfect I just want some um, yeah pretty generic leaf shapes I've made some big ones some smaller kind of leafy ones um, yeah you you really don't notice any flaws in the layout once it's all finished so you know Please don't be too concerned with making things absolutely perfect. You could do this on your silhouette if you wanted. I was just trying to save some time. So I'm going to hand stitch some of these. So you can see there I've just gone ahead and pierced some stitching holes. I'm only going to do the largest ones um, for the hand stitching because um, I don't want to make my life difficult. <laughs> but I am just using some white embroidery thread. I'm using all six strands of thread. And I am just doing a simple back stitch up the center of these largest leaves just to give that illusion of veining I suppose um, I just wanted a bit of extra texture and I'm also going to go ahead and bend all the leaves well all these larger leaves up in the center a little bit so it helps to yeah give that illusion that it's a real leaf and not a piece of paper <laughs> so there we go these smaller leaves I'm just going to use my white gel pen and I'm doing the same kind of thing just some faux stitching lines up the center of each of those little leaflets I've also going to head off camera, you can see them at the top of my screen there, cut some more little leaves out of the Epic Tales paper, which is the white one with the black triangles on it. I just wanted a another colour, not that white's a colour, but <laughs> I just wanted some white to break up the green. Now I'm going to back my title, which is this uh, cut file from Neat and Crafty Cuts. I'll leave the link in the description box, um, but it just says the sweetest and I thought, yeah, it was good for a title. <laughs> so I just cut that out of white cardstock and I'm going to back the letters with um, some of the blues and the greys from the pattern papers. So I'm just going ahead and tracing the letters on the reverse side of the paper. Here we go, flipping it over, tracing it out and then cutting uh, the shapes slightly larger than the pencil line and just sticking it down with a little bit of tacky glue. There we go. So I backed all those pieces with um, blue and then I went and did every second piece with grey. Just trimming a little bit off my photo, not too much. I still want those trees in the background to be visible. So I'm going to do just very simple uh, photo mats behind my photo today. Just a thin layer, layer of white and then a um, thin strip of the uh, pale blue pattern paper. It's kind of like a geometric tribal print. There we go. That is the total legend paper. So I just wanted some of that blue color really. You can see I've already had a go with this paper, so <laughs> definitely using up some of my scraps there, which is awesome. I used quite a few of the um, scraps that I've made from that outdoors paper as well to make some of the leaves because I really love that outdoors type paper. And here it is again. <laughs> it's the wood grain. So it's got the wood grain on one side and then that, that topographic map on the other side. And I've just I've used this heaps. I just love it. It's my favorite paper out of the entire collection. That wood grain is just so beautiful. So this is going to be my background. I'm just going to stick my title to my photo now because I know they're going to go together like that. And I um, just want to know exactly how it's going to sit before I start to do my mixed media. So I'm doing a bit of stenciling with some white modeling paste. I've got this quilted kind of effect stencil it looks really cool I actually really really love this on this layout because the white just pops off that dark wood grain so beautifully just look at that it's so nice so I'm just going to use that in a three places so I'm trying to make it so I don't make the edges too sharp and and even I want it to look kind of natural and a little bit messy and unstructured so I do smudge it in the middle there but it doesn't matter my photo is going to cover it there you go. So don't stress about little mistakes like that. You can always cover them up. Just a little bit more stenciling just at the bottom of my um, where my photo will sit. Yeah. There you go. 
and then lots of splatters of course because what's allowed of mine without white and gold splatters <laughs> so just a lots of white with my white liquitex acrylic ink and some gold kaiser mist in a minute i'm trying to vary the size of my splatters so i'm trying to get some big ones on there and some little ones as well just not being careful about the placement just sort of going all, all over the place here same with the gold Okay, that is all done and now I'm going to add some adhesive foam to the back of my photo and my title. I have been avoiding using foam where possible just because of the bulk it adds to your albums but because those leaves have the hand stitching and I bent them in the middle they are quite dimensional so I'm going to need to lift this part of my layout up because I want to tuck the leaves underneath the edges. So once that is all done I am going to pull out the rest of my title, which is a part of the Dark Out title pack. The word boys is in there, and I've just trimmed off the S with my fussy cutting scissors, um, which you can't even tell I did that. So boys, remember, you can alter those titles if the words don't fit exactly right. It's really easy just to trim off a letter or two. Going ahead and gluing everything down here. And I did put some foam behind that die cut title as well, just on the parts where it won't be supported by the foam underneath the main title. Bit of journaling, just a few lines. It just says you light up our lives and then the date. I'm using my white uni ball Asuno gel pen. Stands out really beautifully on this paper. And now I will pop in my leaves. So I'm just going in with the biggest ones first and then I will bring in all the smaller ones to fill in all the little, little gaps. Um, I'm not I don't make any specific kind of clusters on this one. I'm not worrying about the rule of thirds or anything. I'm just tucking them in where they feel right and they look right to me. Um, I'll put in all the gray ones and then I'm going to come in with the white ones and try to break up the um, monochromaticness <laughs> of all the green. So you can see that I'm just trying to tuck a, a white leaf in between any two green leaves that sit together just to help break up that color and to give more of an illusion of dimension and depth. So there we go. I'm really, really happy with all of that. Um, I just love how leafy and, I don't know, it just looks so natural and um, wild and pretty. I really like it. So I'm just adding some tacky glue here. I'm not moving any of the leaves. I'm just sort of lifting them up and popping some glue down at the base. I'm not gluing down any of the tops either. I want all the tops to kind of lift up off the page. Now I'm coming in with the enamel dots. I'm adding three clusters of uh, the light blue, the white and the grey in three places around my photo there and the very last thing I'm going to do is add in some of these tiny word stickers off the accessory sticker sheet two at the top of my photo here and then one just below my title at the bottom and that's my layout finished thank you so much for joining me don't forget to check out the Coco Vanilla Studio blog and Facebook group the links will be in the description box and I'll see you next time bye guys